Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Before I get into the video, I do want to quickly say that this original painting is up for sale on my Etsy shop. I recently totally upgraded my Etsy shop and I would really appreciate it if you wanted to go check it out. And yeah, you can buy this original painting over there as well. So today is May 1st. And as many of you in the art community know, May 1st is the official beginning of Mer May. It is a art challenge where you challenge yourself to draw a mermaid every single day in the month of May. And I am going to attempt it this year. I am not making any promises, um, but I love drawing mermaids. And I'm just, yeah, I'm just excited and I'm going to try my best to draw a mermaid every single day. And I do want to push myself and draw some different types of mermaids, not just, you know, pretty mermaids. I really, uh, bleh, words, how do I words? Um, I really want to try drawing some, maybe some horror mermaids. Like, I love when people draw mermaids, like, really, really scary and yeah, I'm really excited to try, uh, try some of that, and I may even do some more portraiture work, and yeah, I'm just excited to see uh, what kind of different things I can do to kind of break the mold of the mermaids that I usually draw. So yeah, super excited for that. If you are also going to be participating in Mermaid, please let me know. Drop your social medias down in the comments so I can see all your beautiful mermaids because honestly that's like my favorite part of Mermaid is seeing all of my favorite artists draw mermaids like I'm drawing mermaids and seeing how they take the challenge and of course discovering new artists and yeah, it's like a whole huge community thing and it's really really cool. So yes, plus it is like really summery because you know mermaids you usually think of the beach and the ocean and tropical waters and I oh my god guys I am so ready for summer like I have never been more ready for warm weather in my entire life I feel like I've come out of hibernation it's insane for those of you who don't know i recently moved from las vegas nevada to boston actually well salem massachusetts um and this winter was really cold this winter was really really hard for me so i am just so ready for the sun and warm weather and being able to wear a t-shirt again oh my gosh guys you have no idea so yeah super super hyped for this challenge um but yeah i guess i'll talk about what i'm actually doing right now um this kind of started off as just me sitting down and saying I'm gonna draw a mermaid because it's mermaid and this is just kind of what happened. I kind of didn't really stress too much about what I was painting. It was more so the fact that I just wanted to paint something so that's just what I did. I had no preliminary sketches. I had no ideas really. I kind of just started to draw and this is what exploded out of my brain. Um, and I don't know how I feel about it. I'm, okay, first, I am proud that I drew something, first of all, because as you guys may have known, I've been kind of in a really weird place with my art lately, so I am really happy that I drew something. Um, some of the choices I made, however, I feel may not have been the best, but you know what? That's okay. Uh, I made a lot of mistakes with this painting, which I will kind of break down in a little bit, but ultimately I am super proud of myself for doing something. I'm proud that I saw this till the end because there were a few times where I kind of wanted to just give up and be like, Bleh. Um, but I didn't do that. I kept going and I am proud that I tried something new. Um, I did a lot of new things in this piece to see how it would work. And even though I'm not super happy with how it turned out, I am happy that I tried something new and something different. So yeah, let's kind of break down the mistakes that I made in this piece. And I do want to say real quick too that mistakes aren't necessarily a bad thing. I learned a lot. <laughs> and yeah, ultimately it was fun drawing this too. So mistakes aren't bad. If you look, if you can look at a piece and point out your mistakes, that is a good thing. And all pieces have mistakes in one way or another. So it's really good to be able to point out your mistakes and kind of reflect on them and learn from them so you don't make the same mistakes over and over again. So, yeah. Um, <coughs> like I said, I didn't really have any ideas going into this piece at all, so I just kind of was sketching and just, you know, 
doing my thing. And I really, really liked how the sketch came out. I really like how the line work came out too. Um, there are definitely some anatomy problems, like her whole upper body is just kind of awkward. Um, but that can be fixed by me just paying more attention and doing more gesture drawings and the anatomy studies and stuff like that. Um, that's kind of not my biggest issue with this piece. The biggest issue with this piece for me is definitely the colors. Um, I tried a new medium that I haven't really used that much before. I used my Arteza watercolor pens and I really do enjoy these pens. They're so much fun and the colors are so, so, so vibrant as you guys can see. <clears throat> and usually that's a good thing, but the problem with this piece is that I used way too many vibrant colors and it made the piece just too busy. And with my art, I usually like to have a softer style anyway, but I have been trying to break out of that and try more vibrant pieces or incorporating more contrast and stuff like that. Um, but with this piece, I just kind of went way too overboard. Um, like I wanted her skin to have a pinky purpley hue to it so that she didn't look totally human. Look, she looked more like a fantasy type mermaid type deal. Um, but I, I'm not even quite sure how I could have fixed this because I went in with the pens and I just kept adding more and more colors thinking that it would help but I don't I don't know I'm not even quite sure what it is that I don't like about it it just to me looks too 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 much it looks too much so maybe that's the problem maybe the pens that I used were just too vibrant I think I should have incorporated maybe one or two of the pens and then my regular watercolors to kind of soften it a bit while still having the like the one or two colors of the pens to make things pop I think that is what it is and having me talk about it is actually being super helpful right now because I can kind of pinpoint what it is I don't like about the piece. So I appreciate you guys just kind of listening to me ramble about this for a bit. Um, but yeah, I think that's what bothers me most is that I should have had a softer color scheme overall with maybe one or two vibrant colors. Like I really like the vibrant pink and the blue. So maybe if I would have kept the purples in the piece much softer, like the skin and the majority of the tail, uh, that might have solved my problem. So now I know going into my next mermaid piece, if I want to try something vibrant, maybe just kind of tone it down a bit. And I do think a lot of it was the pens that I used too, because the pens don't really have a soft color to them at all. Like even the lighter colors are super, super vibrant and just super pigmented. And like I said, that's really cool. It's really great. It's really fun to work with, but to make an overall piece, I feel like you need to have more of a balance with the colors. Um, it's also hard to get value with these pens because I don't, I don't know, maybe that's just me not understanding value very much because I know I lack value understanding a lot in most of my pieces anyway. But yeah, overall though, I really enjoyed working on this. It was a lot of fun. And because I started off not having like a solid idea I didn't really put any pressure on myself to make like a really, really good piece. And that really, really helped, especially when the skin was turning out not how I wanted it to. Instead of like freaking out and, you know, wanting to scrap the piece, I just kind of kept pushing through it and was like, eh, this didn't quite turn out how I would want it to, but you know what, that's okay. And that's kind of just how I felt about this whole piece. Um, but it was fun and I did try to make the best of it even with all the vibrant colors. I think as the piece progressed, I liked it better because I added more colors in more places like with the rocks and with the words and it kind of helped balance things out a little bit. Um, but yeah, it was really fun to work on, especially her hair. I love drawing hair so much. So it was really fun to draw all that wavy, hair that's like floating in the water. I definitely want to do more of that and do more like hair pieces, pieces focusing on hair is what I meant to say. Um, but yeah, so 
yeah, this was fun. Um, I'm not planning on making any prints of my mermaid pieces, uh, just because I'm going to have so many of them and I know not all of them are going to be winners. Um, but the ones that I do like, I will throw up the originals on my Etsy store. I recently totally revamped my Etsy. I added prints. I added a bunch of originals. My art books are on there, some buttons. Um, so if you guys are interested, I will have a link in the description below. Um, I would really appreciate it if you checked it out. I put a lot of work into making my Etsy look really nice. So yeah, would super appreciate that. And if you would like to own this painting, uh, you can do that by ordering the original. So yeah, that is pretty much all I think I want to say about this piece. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you are participating in Mermaid, please, please, please let me know because I love looking at your guys's art and I, I love mermaids and I want to see you guys draw some really cool mermaids. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate you guys. I hope you have an excellent mermaid month, an excellent rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!